Um, I'm going to touch on our BACnet link and our Modbus link. Um, two nice devices separately from PotterNet. So now we kind of moved away from PotterNet, but we will go to some of these college campuses and they're going to say that they have a, a BMS system of some sort uh, on campus. Um, and they're monitoring probably their HVAC systems and a number of other systems on campus, and they've standardized on some BMS. That's fine. And in those cases, we would tell you um, for the fire system that you're either going to use our BACnet link or our Modbus link. And I'm going to say nine out of ten times on like a regular camp, like a college campus, for instance, it's going to be BACnet, not Modbus. Modbus, we see more industrial uh, applications. It could be Modbus, but generally we're seeing BACnet. And so you would put in our BACnet link, um, and it's BACnet over IP. Um, we give you all of the services that it provides, and our manual is very detailed, and it would be something that you would provide to the BMS, uh, whoever's running that BMS system, to show them the services that we have uh, in our BACnet link. But suffice it to say that they would get point-level detail out of our fire system, uh, very similar to what you see in PotterNet. Uh, to come into their BMS, and that, that would be using the BACnet link. And the BACnet link can coexist with a PotterNet, so you could have a PotterNet on site doing, you know, the graphics that I showed, and you could have a BMS also monitoring the system. That's fine, and our system will handle that, um, so it's really up to you. But there are those cases where they say, no, we don't want PotterNet. We want our BMS handling all the fire, so use our BACnet link. It is a and our Modbus link, they're both software. Um, so you would put this, you would run our BACnet link software and our Modbus link software uh, on a, uh, like a, a small Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And I say small, it could be anywhere from like one of these small Intel nooks. Um, we've had some customers put them as virtual machines on their servers. Uh, it really doesn't matter. As long as it has a, a Windows 10 or Windows 11 environment, you're set, and the user interface is similar to PotterNet in that when you connect to the panels, it's that same exact interface. You'll set up our software, and literally this can be done in minutes. You load our software, then you connect to our panels, and basically what that means is you put in the IP address and the user code, and then we'll extract all the data out of the panels, and we'll create all the mappings. So there's very little for you to do uh, on that system. Now the Modbus uh, SCADA system or the BMS system, they have some configuration that they need to do to, to interface with our Modbus link and BACnet link, but we give them all that data either in our manual or reports that come out of our um, software. So um, this, it's really nice system, nice way to do an interface. And in most cases, as long as they say they do Modbus over IP or BACnet IP, you don't really need a whole lot more detail about their head end. I mean, it'd be nice to get if you want to talk to us about it. Uh, but as long as they're doing BACnet IP or Modbus IP, we're in good shape and we can uh, talk to their system. Um, this was something I did when we had uh, some of our sales team in. But really, I kept telling even our sales team, you know, if you go on a campus and you hear the word SCADA and they start talking about, you know, monitoring with a SCADA system, in a lot of cases, they're talking about Modbus. Um, so th think about using our Modbus link. And in BACnet, they're usually talking about building management systems and BMSs and similar things. And that's when they would use BACnet. Um, and so this is kind of a... We can monitor with our Modbus link up to 200 panels, um, and it runs on, like I said, either on a just a Windows 10 or 11, 11 platform, and we will provide the data to whatever the head end is. Um, and then BACnet, same thing. Uh, they can monitor up to 1,000 panels and reports into a number of you know BACnet clients. And I just did some examples of things that we typically see on sites, um, you know, uh, Tritium, um, Johnson Controls, Metasys, Allerton, uh, there's, there's hundreds of others, but um, those are some common ones we've, you know, we've seen out there.